historic teams, the 76ers. Here are the players arriving earlier, ready for action. Thanks for spending Valentine's Day with us. We've got a match made in heaven coming your way on 2K Sports. Here with the greats, Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill. I'm Brian Anderson and Ali LaForce, our reporter. So a moment now to see the story for Jimmy Butler. He's been an absolute beast on the defensive end, racking up the steals and really making an impact on this side of the court. And let's check Miami's starting lineup. Hero and Butler make up the perimeter pair. Bam Adebayo is out there with Kevin Love. And it's Lowry in at the one. And for Philadelphia, Gary Trent is out there with Jakob Pertl. Then it's Joel Embiid. Then there's DeAnthony Melton. And it's Beverly in at the one. Well, Grant, when you look at these teams, both very scrappy. They're really getting after it on defense right now. And I love it. I mean, it's actually really refreshing to see. Being that the league has shifted more to being offensive oriented, this matchup has a bit of an old school feel to it. So you know I like that. It's going to be fun. Go. And so off the tip, it's Miami. Now Lowry. And the foul on Patrick Beverly. That's his first foul. Oh, they've got their eyes on him. Calling the foul right away. Seventy sixers on D to the left wing. Love finds Lowry. Here's Hero. Fires the three. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Put Hero anywhere on the arc and he'll shoot it. I mean, he is so confident. And here's Beverly. Melton outside. The three is up. And no good. Melton against Butler. It's hauled in by the Sixers. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Cavaliers. <laughs> yeah, that was a hard-fought win for them. Couldn't finish the job in regulation, but things came together for them in overtime. They felt great about their chances in overtime. It took a little extra, but they were able to get it done. Lots of winning going on in Philadelphia. Six straight playoff appearances, Richard. Yeah, they're the masters of the mid. Their game, that's just the way it is. No finals appearances. And look, that's got to be top of mind. East is tough, but they've got the talent to go far, but they just keep having mid-seasons. Now here's Beverly. An 11-point game for him and the win against the Cavs in Cleveland. Hey, good to get him going right away. I mean, those are the shots that really boost confidence. It makes a difference for them if he can establish his three-point shot as a weapon. Playing way bigger than his six-foot height. Lowry scores it inside. He just plays with so much heart. Oh, it's stolen by Butler. Fast break. Here come the Heat. And it's Butler with the jam. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. We know ah. mistakes lead to breaks, and that's just textbook right there. Well, Grant, the pace that the Heat like to play is a little slower compared to other teams. Yeah, B.A., more methodical, definitely. They don't just jack up shots and run quick plays. They're very patient, and they look for the best scoring option. And this summer, the Sixers making changes on the bench. Grant, the mission statement is clear. Make it past the conference semifinals. Oh, so clear, B.A. And while that's been the stumbling block in recent years, I'm not sure even that's good enough. This is a team with legitimate championship aspirations. Oh, that's good. A volume three-point shooter for a big man. Love can certainly torch you from downtown. Trent, the pass to Embiid. Hurdle with the ball. Beverly for three. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Out of bio. That's good. And in terms of wings, Butler is one of the best passers. And that starts with Jimmy's team first mindset. To the middle. Here's Melton. To the paint. Embiid finds Trent. 
Pointer, no good. The Heat have gotten five of seven shots to fall. And he lobs it up top. And Adebayo slams it in. <laughs> Look how explosive Bam can be. Defenses can't do anything to stop him on the alley-oop. Hurdle up top. Melton on the wing. Fires the three. Offensive board. Embiid. And he battles for the ball. Gets his second chance bucket. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Colonel grabs a miss. The 76ers have gone four of seven, shooting a solid percentage. Melton passes to Pirtle. Three-pointer and B. Rebounded by Butler. And you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look. Here's Lowry. Outside for Butler. And that's out of bounds. Miami will keep it. And right in the middle of winter, hot off the press, some fresh power rankings. You take a look at the Heat, no movement for them, maintaining their top 10 spot. Well, right now for the 76ers, they're a top-tier team that has battled some adversity this year. Obviously still winning games, but not at the rate most people thought. The Heat making a switch here. Richardson's checked in. Passes to Adebayo. Oh, rejected by Pirtle. He's quick to read and react on deep. Pirtle can really disrupt an opponent's offense. Melton misses. Miami's gone two of two at the perimeter. Here's Richardson. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. It's on Patrick Beverly. Well, that was clearly a foul. All right, guys, some stats here. The scoring breakdown for Miami. The ball movement has been outstanding so far. They've come out of the gate looking for that extra pass. You have to like the fact that they're not settling at all. I mean, they've really made a point to get the ball down inside and challenge that interior defense. And the 76ers with some changes. House, he's checked in for Trent. Cork Moss comes in for Melton. And it's Springer in for Beverly. And Miami also making a switch. Robinson's checked in. Josh Richardson is a guy who helps you in a number of ways, RJ. Yeah, he can defend, pass, and shoot. Gives you veteran leadership. Valuable part of the rotation. Outside Richardson. Here's out of bio. And it's blocked by Embiid. Every year, he's a defensive player of the year candidate. His instincts, that's what makes Embiid outstanding. And his awareness of when to go for the block. Now here's Love. Taking a look at his production. Averaging just over eight points a game. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. Here's Springer. Trailing by four. And a bio with a steal. Now here's Butler. Pass to Richardson. Let's it go from deep. The putback. The rebound by Embiid. See, what a rough quarter for him. Nothing seemingly going his way. Here's Springer. From deep. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got four rebounds in the game. Takes a three. And Butler the bucket on the assist by Richardson. Butler's got five points. A guy you have to guard at range. Butler isn't a volume three-point shooter, but he can hit them when the move strikes. Here's House. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Butler passes to Richardson. Back to Butler. 105 left in the opening quarter. Can't cash in the 10-footer. It is a shame to see a high percentage look go to waste. You'll be hearing about this one in the locker room, I'll be sure. And grant the resiliency and determination of the Heat not to be underestimated. Well, B.A., last season became just the second eighth seed in NBA history to advance to the finals. And Jimmy Butler said it. We don't care if you pick us to win. We never have. We never will. And the 76ers with some changes. Reed's checked in for Embiid. Covington comes in for House. And it's Coffee in for Springer. Here's Hero. Hovering around 19 and a half points a game. His scoring has been huge for them. Pass to Bryant. And 
and the officials <laughs> whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Yeah, a versatile player. Hero is terrific at sensing when his guys are open. Springer, he's checked in for the Sixers. One shot. Sixers really separate themselves, Richard. Elite in both three-point and free-throw percentage. Yeah, with Embiid doing what he does, you're going to get a lot of free throws. And you're going to get looks from range because of the amount of attention that he gets. And it's the Heat with the ball. Following the score by Philadelphia. Inside, here's Bryant. And then Bryant with the dunk. The passing of Hero keeps getting better and better as his career goes on. The Sixers trailing. Right side Covington. Here's the three. He drops it from range. Covington's got five points. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Hero outside. 11 seconds left in the opening quarter. Fires from deep. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Bertle's got four rebounds in the game. Here's Coffey. Ooh, he released it in time, but it's off the mark. The scoring is fast and furious as we end the first. Heat out in front. They lead by five. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. As our coverage continues, happy Valentine's Day again to everyone out there. Let's quickly break down what we've seen from the Heat. Well, they've used the fast break well to score easy points and keep the defense unsettled. In this league, it is so hard scoring in the half court, so you have to run every time you get the opportunity. Here's Springer, still without a bucket. They've got Paul Reed. Robert Covington is out there with Marcus Morris. Then there's Gary Trent, and it's Springer in at the point. That's the group for Philadelphia to kick off the second quarter. Now here's Richardson. Hero outside. Ryan a screen on Covington. Hero for three. It's hauled in by the Sixers. And at home for the next game, it'll be New York pulling in to face him. It'll be the second game of four straight at home. Reed, no good. Really thought he had this one, and the defense... They were giving it to him. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Well, Dan Metabio is a defensive force. Coach Eric Sporster said, quote, he makes us different. Our team is built around his toughness and his versatility. You can count on one hand in this association how many guys can literally guard one through five. And he's at the very top of that list. That's unique unto itself, Brian. Yeah, very special, Allie. Thanks for that. Kyle Lowry's checked in for Miami. Pass to Bryant. And then Bryant with the dunk. <laughs> A maestro running the two-man game. Now Lowry with textbook guard play there. And the 76ers shooting only 39% so far in the game. Here's Springer. Morris passes to Covington. The Sixers with another miss. Just over a minute has passed here in the second quarter. Lowry outside. Now here's Hero. Takes the three. This is another. Just one of four for the floor. Trent 
against Hero. And Trent the bucket on the assist from Covington. Well, Richard, you had four finals appearances and faced some legendary competition in each one. Yeah, I went up against Shaq and Kobe, Duncan and David Robinson, Durant and Curry. That's why I lost three of them. But I was a part of the greatest championship ever in 2016, beating those 73 win Warriors. Who oh, wasted no time on that one. Trent's got five points in the quarter. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Hero for three. It's rebounded by Morris. And he continues to cast a win. But the results just haven't been there tonight. Trent for three. Offensive rebound. Reed. Some solid defense from Martin. Gotta applaud the defensive effort. It's not easy to stop him getting in the lane like that. Lowry. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That one on Morris. Able to get to his spots offensively. You simply just can't fall asleep when guarding Lowry on the drive. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. Ball to the heat. And the 76ers with some changes. Embiid, he's checked in for Morris. Melton comes in for Covington. And it's Beverly in for Springer. Adebayo's checked in for Miami. That free throw good from Lowry. Embracing his role as a leader for this squad. Lowry recognizes the importance of this in terms of developing his teammates. Both free throws good from Lowry. For a star like him, you get lots of opportunities at the line, and he's great at cashing them in. Pass to Melton from downtown. The shot misses. And here's Lowry. He'll bring it up for Miami. They lead by seven. They defeated Milwaukee in their last game. Oh, my. Talk about mental toughness. The crowd was roaring against them. They were able to focus and finish the task at hand. And the yeah. mental game you talk about, a lot comes down to coaching. Having your players focused. Lowry against Beverly. There's the three. Ooh, excellent D there from Lowry. Miami has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. Hero for three. And he's now three for eight after that one. Yeah, rising up on a dime. I love seeing Hero be assertive like this. Melton with the ball. Picked up by Lowry. Embiid from outside. No luck on that one. Oh, great D that time from Adebayo. And Joel Embiid is a rarity in many ways, including how effective he is inside. Yeah, B.A., we don't see that as much as we used to. Big men dominating down low, but Embiid is an exception. A center with a deadly mix of dominance down low and skill work outside. Butler's checked in for Robinson. Lowry finds Hero. Outside Butler. From deep. Back to Hero. It's stolen by Trent. Here we go. The Sixers on the break. Is Beverly. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for two. And he can't get the first one. Richard, what's your stance on the take foul that was implemented not too long ago? I am so glad that they implemented that. The transition game is one of the most entertaining aspects of the game. Not many people are going to complain about a rule that encourages up-tempo basketball. And the Heat making a change here. Richardson's checked in. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Back to Butler. That's good. And so Lowry with the assist. Lowry's got five assists in the game. Pass to Embiid. And a bio with a steal. Richardson, the pass to Butler. And that bucket makes him four for seven today. Good production. Very consistent tonight at the offensive end. Right there, he helps fuel the fire. Beverly, the pass to Reed. Trent outside to halt the run. The Sixers again can't hit. Yeah, they just can't seem to end the drought no matter where they shoot it from. 
This is snowballing for them. They've got to get a good look next time down. They grab their own miss. Now Philadelphia with it. They trail by 16. And another miss by Philadelphia. Butler against Melton. It's scooped up. Martin outside. Butler passes to Martin. On target from range. Martin's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. And Philadelphia calls time here. And the 76ers making a change here. Hurdles checked in. It's February. Let's see how things are shaping up in the East. Taking a look at the 76ers. Here around the midway point, they've proven to be a top three team in their conference. And of course, there's the Heat, a game and a half behind. I think for the Heat, it really hasn't been the dominant season they were hoping for. But they're still in the hunt for a high postseason seed. From here on out, it's just about putting in the work. Coming to every game ready to compete and never giving less than your best. And it's out of bounds. Now it off Pirtle. A different look for Miami. Love comes in for Martin. And it's Hero in for Richardson. Tyler Hero. A minute and a half left in the second quarter. Out of bounds. It'll be Philadelphia's ball. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. The 76ers shooting only 31% in the game. Hero against Melton. Trent outside. They get back on track. The shot off that time. Some solid defense from Butler. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. Here's Embiid following the bucket by the Heat. Butler with a steal. Here we go, one on one. Here's Love. Boy, they had their chances. Two offensive rebounds, but still coming up empty. Trent for three. Buries it from three. Trent's got his third basket of the night. After failing to knock down anything from deep in the first quarter, he's got two to go here in the second. Hero against Melton. Let's the three fly. It's hauled in by the Sixers. And imagine how good they'll look if he can start to chip in a bit more offensively. Beverly shot off. And after connecting twice from deep in the first quarter, he hasn't been able to drain another here in the second. Lowry, the pass to Love. Again, the Heat misses. And so it's Miami feeling confident. 18-point lead to win that quarter. A big difference in shooting percentages. That's why they leave. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? I'm alongside Coach Nick Nurse, and I know you're not too happy with the execution at the defensive end. What needs to be cleaned up? Yeah, and we're making some mistakes on some of the switches. We're making some mistakes on some of the weak side. And then when we did get him to miss a couple, they tipped him right back in. So lots to clean up there. <laughs> okay. It'll be a tough halftime speech from Coach. Appreciate it, Allie. And we'll be coming right back after this break, ready for the third quarter. And as we welcome you to halftime, no other way to say it. An abysmal. They have to stay attached to shooters because they're getting torched. I want to see them fighting on the screens, getting those hands up. Don't be lazy. They've certainly dug themselves a hole. Might take a couple of big runs to climb out of it. And moving on, let's take a peek at how the East is shaping up here in the midseason. Taking a look here now at the 76ers. I have them as a top team before the season, and now I'm picking them to make the finals. Tell me I'm wrong, Kenny. You can't, because I'm right. Two plus two is five. Mm. And as much as it pains me, I have to agree with Big Fella. 
And that'll do it for us. Thanks for stopping by. We'll head back down to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the third quarter. the second half upon us. We'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. How about Tyler Hero displaying all of his skills today? They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. He always wants to be a go-to guy for them. I'm sure he'll be calling for the ball even more in this half. Setting the floor for the Heat. Lowry and Hero are the guard set. Kevin Love out there with Bam Adebayo, and it's Butler in at the three slot. Now here's Hero. For three. Rebounded by Trent. Oh, man, for whatever reason, he can't get it going from three, and he's pretty good for that. A dynamic finish, then decides to hang out a little for good measure. <laughs> yep, that's the exclamation point right there. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. The Heat always focus on the big prize. Coach Bolstra said, quote, winning a championship can be done in a lot of different ways. The game is played on both sides of the floor with IQ and with toughness, making plays in those winning moments. It's not necessarily what everybody thinks it is. Brian? Well, he would know, Allie. Thank you. And Philadelphia has possession. Following the bucket by the Heat. They get it back. Trend left side. Pirtle, the pass to Trent. From deep, Melton. It's not going to go for him. Well, his shooting is unfortunately not a big thing. And his lackluster accuracy is probably the thing that's keeping them behind. Pass to Lowry. There's a screen by Love. Lowry drives in. An easy two on the layup. Lowry's got six. A bulky, quick-footed guard. I love when Lowry takes initiative and dives inside. Here's Melton. Hurdle, the pass to Melton. Gets the three to fall. Give him eight. They've been pretty lax with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three-pointers. For Miami, they've got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. Yeah, this is a good opportunity to get your group together and make sure everyone is on the same page. Taking a sec here to look at the leaderboard. Here are the top free throw shooting two guards over the last 10 games. Number one, Tyler Hero. It's a one-two punch. He beats you with his shooting and his excellent work at the free throw line. Adebayo passes to Love. It's the trifecta. And this has been a nice start to the second half. They're three out of four in the rhythm on the offense right now. Timeout called, the 76ers. Now a moment to take a look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it's been trending for Gary Trent. And the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. That's not what you want, and I'm sure it's something he's well aware of. Now here's Beverly. Seven points in the game. Embiid misses. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. Pass to Hero. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Hurdle with some nice D. Here's Trent. He's guarded by Hero. Puts up a three. Love grabs the miss. Love's got his fifth rebound in this one. Now here's Hero from outside the arc. That's good. And so Lowry with the assist. Lowry's got seven assists in the game. Beverly, the pass to Trent. Now Melton. From deep hurdle. And Hero grabs the board. And he does it right in his face. This is how you answer a three with a three. Just mercy. And so Trent will bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. 
pass to Pirtle. And here's Melton. 4-3. Knocks down the triple. Melton's got 11 points here in the second half. He's looked like a totally different player in the second half. That's his third triple. And there's the lob. And finished off by Adebayo. And what I love about Adebayo is he picks smart shots to take. Just an efficient offensive player. Beverly outside. It's Pirtle high post. From deep, Melton. It's hauled in by the Heat. Love's got his sixth rebound on the night. Down low, Adebayo. And Adebayo slams it in. The title-winning point guard, Kyle Lowry, making the right choice there. The 76ers have gotten only four of ten shots to fall so far in the third. Here's Beverly. Yep, that one's good. Beverly's got his third basket on the night right there. Simple. The closer you are to the hoop, the better your chance to score. Lowry against Beverly. Tries to spin move. Lowry with it. He has six. Takes it inside. And it's blocked by Embiid. Melton on the wing. He's guarded by Hero. That one's good from Melton. On the assist from Beverly. Melton's got 14 points. Can't blame the deficit on him. He's been scoring at will this period. Lowry, the pass to Adebayo. Back to Lowry. The shot, no good. Great D that time from Beverly. To the inside. Three-pointer. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Lowry against Beverly. Pass to Love. Three-pointer. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Embiid's got eight rebounds in the game. Embiid drawing the double team. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Yeah, it's such a simple yet effective move. Embiid executing the pump fake. All right, well, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Heat. Their offense has been a well-oiled machine. They're moving the ball around, playing for one another, and just piling up assists. And we also got to talk about the number of points they've scored in transition. Just jumping all over the opposition in this regard. Reed's checked in for Beverly. Bryant, he's checked in for Miami. Martin comes in for Love. Shooting over 80% from the line during his career. Embiid is not only one of the best free throw shooting centers in the league today, he's one of the best all time. Some big guys struggle at the line, not him. He's put in the work to defy that assumption. Lowry, the pass to Hero. Hey, right here. Melton against Lowry. Driving to the basket. Oh, a special move before that shot. Give him eight points now. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Miami has gone two for five from three since halftime. From the arc. And Hero with the three. Hero's got 16 points now. He's hit a pair of threes each half, making a significant impact. Melton against Lowry. Back to Pirtle. Trent on the wing. There's the triple. Rebounded by Butler. Gotta find easier shots when you're already struggling. That's not gonna get it. And that one, good. And the Heat lead by 21. Yeah, showing a little versatility with their offensive attack. In the first half, it was about the three ball. In the second half, they've emphasized interior scoring. He was solid in the first half from deep. He's a guy who can get hot. Let's see how he does here in the second. Hero for three. Rebound by the 76ers. Inside. Hurdle with the bucket. This is just great heads up play by Yaka. Moving in transition to make sure he's an open option. Hero on the wing. The three is up. Doesn't go for him. And as we end the third quarter, a double digit deficit will make it tough to come back. It's the Heat up by 16. After a quick break, we're coming right back with the start of the fourth quarter.
And meanwhile, Eric Spolstra rallying the troops. Trust it. Good to great. Good to great. That's right, man. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. We've got DeAnthony Melton, Marcus Morris out there with Robert Covington, and it's Paul Reed, and it's Coffee in at the two. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. The aggressiveness of Adebayo. He plays with so much energy and force close to the bucket. And that one's good. Covington. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. In the modern NBA, you have to hit threes to win games. And they've made that adjustment since the break. Out of bounds. It'll be Philadelphia's ball. Let's just say they weren't on the same page there. Not sure he was expecting that pass. Pass to Coffey from behind the arc. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Richardson, the pass to Lowry. And Lowry gets doubled. Robinson finds Richardson. Three-pointer off the mark. Philadelphia is going one of two from deep in this quarter. Now Melton. He's guarded by Lowry. Launches it. Rebound by the Heat. Adebayo's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. To the paint. And finished off by Adebayo. <laughs> you could just see how in sync they were there. That's what it takes to pull that off. Pass to Coffey. Morris for three. Pure from three-point range. Morris has got himself going here. His first point of the game on the deep ball. Time out called. The Heat. Sixers with some changes. Embiid, he's checked in for Morris. Moss comes in for Coffee, And it's Springer in for Melton. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Well, over the break, I listened in on Eric Spolster's huddle. And they told their team, no easy threes. Let's guard that arc. Don't let anyone get an open look. With the lead, they want to close this one out with their perimeter defense. Let's see if they do, Brian. Good job there, Allie. Thanks. Moss, good. I love the throwback basketball. Work it down low and set up your teammate. For Miami, they've gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. Adebayo, a screen on Covington. Martin outside. Pass to Adebayo. Good. Eight buckets in 12 attempts. As bad as he was in the first half, that's how good he's been since. Springer passes to Reed. Korkmaz on the wing. Outside Covington, beyond the arc. That shot off. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. For three, Robinson. And Reed pulls it down. Reed's got four rebounds now. Here's Embiid. Look at Embiid with the skill finish. Just so nimble for his side. Embiid able to still knock down the shot. Just great coordination. For three, Lowry. Covington grabs the board. Shocking that he just bricked that one. The defense got real lucky there. Reed passes to Korkmaz. The three. And it's Miami with a rebound. Lowry's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Robinson. And here's Adebayo. Embiid covers. Here's Covington. Finished off the break. Covington's got five points now this quarter. And he's doing everything he can offensively to lift them out of this hole. But I'm not sure his hot shooting can do it alone. And here's Lowry from the arc. Rebound by the 76ers. Here's Korkmaz. For three, Covington. Kept alive to the left side wing. Stolen by Lowry. Outside Richardson. Here's Martin. 
banked it in off the glass. And the Heat lead by 15. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Yeah, they're going to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. And a new group getting ready for the Sixers. Hurdles checked in for Reed. Trent comes in for Covington. Melton, he's checked in for Corkmans. And it's Beverly in for Springer. Butler's checked in for Miami. Tyler Hero comes in for Richardson. Now here's Butler. Down low. Here's Adebayo. And finished off by Adebayo. And just an effective offensive talent. Adebayo plays so hard, and that's really what drives his game. Melton passes to Beverly. The Sixers with another miss. And so it's Butler who brings up the ball for the Heat. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. And here's Lowry from the arc. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Hurdle's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Beverly into the lane. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Hurdle got his eyes open tonight. Great feed to create the easy opportunity. Lowry surveys the D. And so it's going to be a three-second violation there on the defense. And the technical free throw is good. Martin on the wing. Sinks the tray. Martin's got five points now this quarter. And they just continue to attack, even late in the game, while they're up big. If you want to be great, you have to have that killer instinct. He gets it in there. That is a perfect placement of that dime. Just guided it right to him. The Heat shooting the ball at 48% so far. Pass to Adebayo. And here's Butler outside. The rebound by Embiid. Philadelphia shooting just 38% for this game so far. And they were really able to find the mismatches they wanted and exploit those all night. Great execution from the players and coaching staff for the Heat. One area where they set themselves apart today, their aggressiveness in getting steals. It really hindered their opponent all game long. And of course, it helped spark their own offense. And they notch another win, number 34 of the year. And with the win, the season series is tied one-to-one. -one. You have to love how competitive these games have been with two more left to play. And even the opposing fans can't deny this was a sensational game for Bam Adebayo. The work he put in on the glass helped shape this game, never taking a play off and closing out a number of possessions. Now here's Butler. Adebayo passes to Butler. And Embiid with the block. Beverly on the wing. Butler covering. Beverly against Butler. Beverly shot off. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Martin outside. This one for three. Fires in the triple. And the Heat lead by 19. They really came in with the right mindset today. I can guarantee you their flight home will be filled with some smiles. And as it should be, to be this dominant on another team's floor, look, when you go home, you're going to go home feeling good. Hero outside. So it's the Heat winning this one easily. This one wasn't even close. The hometown crowd was waiting for a miracle.